morning guys i'm here with nick watkins and in set of boats we're on the 35 ifc he's gonna walk us through from bow to stern gonna learn every detail about this boat today we're gonna do a sea trial offshore and we're gonna bring you guys along so if nick if you want to mind show Let's us go. what's up here buddy we're gonna start right off the bow come on up here we've got a big old anchor locker got some of Joel's snacks so you could do a windlass either mount it up on the uh bow of the boat or you can mount it in the tunnel as well or a lot of guys are talking about opting for like a rodan trolling motor or something like that or that was totally a possibility uh they can definitely definitely go, go well and hold you on a spot so you don't have to worry about losing an anchor dealing with windlass. right here we've got a nice long insulated box great for big wahoo kingfish mahi whatever else uh, it runs all the way across in, runs all the way across the entire length of the boat so it's a nice big long insulated box where you guys are standing right now. This right here is a great storage compartment. Puts it up, everything's on gem lugs. Good lord. Yeah, big box. And uh, you can also add tubes in here if you want to do lockable rod storage. You can lock spear guns, pull spears. There's a ton of space to go forward. So toss all your dive gear in here. Really put whatever you want. You're good to go. Now before we miss it, We've obviously got this massive coffin box here, rod holders all around. You can keep your rods here, your mahi fishing. Just want to clear the rods. But come up in here. As you're going to see, we've got about 600 quarts of storage in here. You could hold probably 800 pounds of ice or more. Awesome. We have it set up as a split box right now. So you go on a long Bahamas trip, load up one side with ice, load the other with ice. The ones where all the fish goes is that ice melts. Open it once or twice a day, shovel more ice on top. And also there's your sort of It's definitely a lot of storage space, yeah. fish boxes. It's the nice thing about catamarans, you got both of the sponsons here that you can just load up with. Oh yeah, we've got a grab rail that runs around the bow, filming bolsters all the way around. Right here, these are two identical boxes. The other side is also exactly the same. And these are also up to your imagination. We can insulate them. We can connect two of the boxes together to make a nice long box if you want to show plugged swords or, or anything like that. It's another great spot that we can insulate so you can have a massive amount of ice capacity. Um, right here, you've got our hard top, which yeah, is pretty way. dang cool. It's made out of carbon fiber, and uh, I don't weigh very much to show you, but maybe Joel will hang on it. Doesn't this top matter. itself weighs about 100 pounds, right? So all the components attached to it actually weigh significantly more than the top itself. And uh, it provides a nice amount of shade. We've got the two-tone color right here. Bomar hatches come standard. We've got Simrad up there. We've got a JL audio sound system in the boat. We've got four sixes, four eights, and two tens right here behind the helm. We've got wireless Bluetooth phone chargers. We've got our flush acrylic dash. So everything's nice and flush inlaid in there. So right here we've got a, a set of 19 inch Simrads, Mercury vessel view in the, in the middle of them. And uh, we've got the uh, Mercury skyhook and uh, joystick steering as well. We've also got controls for the GPS if you don't want to be touching if your fingers are, are wet or you're, you're wearing dive gloves or something like that. Yeah, you once you're it. running and you're, you're bouncing around, it's tough, exactly. to, tough to mess with, a, mess with a touch screen. That's when that, that thing really comes up big. Yep. These guys right here are strictly for testing when we were at Lake X. They are for the jack plates, but on anyone else's boat, they're just going to be cup holders. Um, got three wide LeBrock seating here. Under this, we've got our fire extinguisher as well as a bunch of storage for documents and whatnot this will all stay nice and dry you can keep all of your bahamas documents nice and ready to grab there everything kind of goes along with that hydrofoil trend right so this obviously these rod holders were, were meant to go a little bit a little bit lower than this um however we'll have a rocket launcher just like this rod holders a little bit lower mount on the top as well so you got a massive amount of rod storage on this boat Very nice. this is pretty cool right here this drops down bait and rigging station more storage more storage get your ballyhoo rigged up on the way out you're good to go cup holders across here insulated cooler box right here high density foam it's going to keep ice we haven't put new ice in for four or five days so Ice and criminal lights full, and this can also be changed up to a bait station right here. So, this will run across. You'll have a 60 gallon well, more of a bait rigging area, too. Moving back, you've got two 30 gallon wells in each corner. Uh, you can opt to have 
rear seating right here as well with fold down seats, backrest option if you don't do a ton of live bait fishing. Uh, we have four different configurations for live well and keeping your baits pretty happy and healthy. We've also got the best marine pump chest in here to keep those baits happy. You can also see one of our transducers down there. We've got a high and a low frequency transducer. One on this side, one on this side. You'll see Mercury's steering set up right here. Some nice clean rigging down in there and super easy access to change anything that you need to. If you need to swap out bilge pumps or anything like that, you get a 250 pound guy in there, no problem. Right here, we've got quick release fresh and raw water wash downs. Plug the hose in, rinse the deck out, clear that hose off the deck, keep it nice and clean. More rod holders back here, totally flush mounted. You can't see any of the mounting here. And these will hold 80 wides, uh, any, any heavy gear you've got, nice and steady in here. And if you haven't already noticed, you have a massive amount of space here on this platform. Uh, we can get two or three divers in and out of the water in a pinch. And it's a, it's a nice boat to be able to spearfish, dive out of. Yeah, we also had a big dive ladder as well, um, if you're a scuba diver. Right now, we've just got the uh, flush mounted ladder that'll just pop out in the rear, just lays out like that. And if you couldn't already tell, these engines are canned a little bit. That improves turning and handling. It allows the boat to really lean into a turn. So the asymmetrical hull will naturally lean more than a symmetrical hull catamaran but these allow it to turn and grip a whole lot better, so you're not gonna see another cat on the market that can turn like this boat, which is a pretty unique feature. We've also got the engines spaced out significantly, so you have a lot of leverage for turning and when you're in a tight spot, which is dark. It's pretty sweet. Uh, breeze. Yep, it is a breeze. So um, real quick, we, I think we passed the, uh, the console cabin. Oh yeah, coming back to that. We didn't complain you guys give me all the time. <laughs> Try not to make that mistake again. No, Definitely perfect. jump in there. We got more tackle storage, document storage, whatever you'd like it to be. That's where we can make it. JL audio everywhere. Yep. And actually, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. You might want to check that side out real fast. Trash cans. Trash cans. Oh, it's in action. Love trash cans. The helm height is an option. Yeah, you can actually adjust the helm height. Um, if you're 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 and above, you'll be able to have a pretty clear line of sight. Um, we can also lower that console down and create a uh, platform there too. So it doesn't matter what height you are, you'll be able to drive it comfortably. Where you're standing right now is where one of the two massive fuel tanks sits. So it's 490 gallons total, 245 on each side. And with these 400 Mercuries, on a day like today, we probably get over 700 miles of range. Um, this boat is crazy efficient, crazy comfortable. You guys are gonna have fun when we hop up on the foil out there. Um, speaking of the foil, if you're talking about where it's located, it's about right here, uh, mounted under the boat, totally flush between the sponsons, only protrudes out about an inch and a half off the bottom, so it doesn't affect your draft, um, and nothing but benefits so far from what we've seen. It's, uh, it's an incredible boat. So yeah, let's go for a ride. I appreciate that. Oh wait, I messed up. Oh. Get inside here in the console. We got to put in show this console. Get inside here, into the console. We've got a ton of space. You've got a head. We can also add a vanity in here, and everyone likes seeing the wiring. Everything's easily accessible and ventilated in here to keep it at the proper temperature. And you've got full access to your batteries and the backside of all of your electronics in here. Well, you can see, you can see this this console. Maybe for me, that's uh, not the tallest guy in the world. Uh, might be a little tall, but it's adjustable. But at this height, you can see how much console space you, you do gain. It's almost the same as a conventional V bottom hull with uh, with this large console. So you know you have the ability to adjust that, and it's a, a nice nice feature you guys give to give both options. Sure. So thank you very much. Let's let's get let's get this puppy offshore to see what we came to see. Let's do it.